All right, hey guys, what is up? My name is Julia and today is my graduation day. Today, I'm going to be bringing you guys through the entire preparation process for graduation, just kind of like getting ready, putting myself together, because clearly this is not cutting it. And I'm also gonna be showing you guys some of the graduation ceremony. My graduation is going to be held at my current high school. They're doing it out on the football field where they can keep all of the families socially distanced because every single family is going to be placed six feet apart. Because of the new Massachusetts regulations, we actually do not have to wear a mask while outside. My whole family and a majority of the graduates and families out on the field today are already fully vaccinated. So this is really, really great. I think we're doing this in a really safe manner okay so the first thing i want to do is take a shower i want to wash my hair and obviously just like clean my whole body i like to call these types of showers a deeply cleanse because i like to exfoliate my skin shave wash my hair face masks we're going the full extra mile because i want to just feel clean and look polished for graduation tonight and also i don't know why my skin is like randomly breaking out the second i need it to not break out also before i get into the shower i want to take all of this nail polish off they look really gross right now and i just want to fix that so I just got out of the shower. You can kind of see my gown in the back, but you know what? That's for later. The reveal is for later. I wanted to do a face mask because my skin's feeling a little bit, it feels better, but it's still feeling a little bit eh. So I have this Burt's Bees detoxifying mask. This has charcoal and honey. This removes impurities for an invigorating cleanse. So that is exactly what I need. I have my mirror right here. I'm just going to be putting this on because my skin needs a little bit of help right now. I mean, I'm going to shut up. I'm just going to stop complaining and work on fixing it. I should have done this in the bathroom. Oh, stupid, stupid. Why is the mouth hole so small? <laughs> Okay, I think we're all set. I look crazy. I look like Squidward in that episode of Spongebob where he's like smelly. I'll put up a picture right here. I hope you know what I'm talking about or this is really awkward. So I guess we just wait. See y'all later. I'm gonna take this off. I have my trash bin right here. Oh, nice. Actually, wait. Oh, my skin does look a little bit better actually. I don't know if I'm just like hallucinating, but it looks a little bit glowier and smoother on camera and it does look a little bit better in person. Sometimes I forget that some face masks like actually work. I always just think that they're a gimmick, so I never really use them even though I have so many of them, but I need to start using them more, clearly. Okay, so I think before I paint my nails, I'm actually going to do a little bit of jade rolling and use my gua sha. I don't know why I feel like my face has been a little bit more puffy and bloated than normal. I want it gone. I'm desperate. If it takes rolling a stone over my face for 15 minutes, I'm gonna do it. I have my jade roller right here and my gua sha. I'm not convinced that these do anything, but you know, like I said, desperation. <laughs> this is kind of funny in my opinion. So graduation is probably gonna end around 8 30 and we're probably not gonna be able to get out of the parking lot and finally leave until nine. So by then most of the decent restaurants are closed. So instead of going out for a fancy dinner tonight, I know I'm gonna be tired. So I just said I wanted to come home and eat Chipotle. So that's what I'm doing. We're literally gonna order Chipotle and have it at the house. And when I get home from graduation, I'm going to change into my pajamas and eat Chipotle. Mm -hmm. That is the most on-brand thing I've ever heard in my life. I don't know. I just don't feel like going out for a super fancy dinner. Like, we can do that another night. That's just too draining for me in one night. I'm just, I want to go home. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is paint my nails. So before I got into the shower, I just took all of my polish off. So we have some pretty naked nails right now. I just have some ColourPop French Tip Nail Polish. Pro tip, if you want to paint your nails white and you don't want the milky white type of nail polish that you have to do like 50 coats, get a French Tip Nail Polish and you can do one coat and be done with it. This is the Holo Taco Base Coat. And then I just have an OPI Top Coat. Hi on here again. So it's been a couple hours actually since the last time I checked in with the vlog. It's 2.15, my nails are all dry and I'm going to start getting ready now. I'm giving myself ample time because I know I love to wait to the last minute and start putting half effort into things and I don't wanna to have to do that, especially for graduation. Before I get ready, I wanna show you all the stuff that I'm wearing today. Okay, so the girls and the boys are going to be in navy blue caps and gowns. So this is my cap, as you can see, pretty basic. And this is my gown. And this is my grad dress that I'm wearing underneath, kind of as this floral lacy pattern on it and I really, really love the cut because it actually looks pretty decent with my broad shoulders, which is very rare. It's from Lulu's and this dress is actually so cute. I'm in love with it. Also, here are my grad shoes. These are the shoes that every other girl in the country is wearing for graduation. I can't help it, okay? I was gonna wear heels, but we're not allowed to wear heels because we're out on the turf and the heels will rip the turf up and you'll also end up rolling your ankle and it's just not gonna be cute. So we had to wear platform shoes if you wanted to wear elevated shoes. So these are just Steve Madden platform shoes. Basically, when I get ready, I like to wear 
work internally to externally and this will make more sense as I go. First, we're gonna start with cleaning our face and brushing our teeth. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with that. Makeup time. Okay, so I'm done with my makeup. Now I think I'm going to do my hair. I'm going to curl it. I left myself an hour and a half to curl my hair. It's definitely not going to take that long, but I haven't curled my hair in forever. I don't think, actually, the last time I curled my hair was sophomore year. Before everybody yells at me, yes, I'm using heat protectant on my hair. Okay, not bad, not bad. It could be worse. It could also be better, but it could be worse. Okay, so I'm all done with my hair. I hope it looks good from the back because I honestly don't even know what it looks like. I might watch that video back to make sure I don't look stupid. Honestly, I think it came out pretty good. I'm gonna run my fingers through this to loosen up the curls a little bit. Okay, so I think the last thing for me to do is just get changed. So without further ado. Surprise, shut it. Anyways, this is, this is me. This is me ready for graduation. I already know what's gonna happen, watch. That's gonna happen. It's because the button on the top here, I don't know if this is a manufacturer's default, but there's like nothing for it to hook onto. My hair is going all crazy. When you put it over the button thing, I feel like you should be able to kind of pull it to... S oh, I just did it. Anyways, this is the dress on. Very cute, very family friendly. Grad cap, gown, shoes. I don't know why they're like a luminescent type of white, but whatever, I'll just crop my feet out in all the photos. I don't like feet anyway, so. This is it. Wow. Yeah, like, what? Good evening, guests. Today is a day of special joy and pride for you, our 83rd graduation. Julia Catherine Bedell. Honored to present the class of 20. Thank you. 